This green mass is in circular motion. We met inward or centripetal acceleration, AC, in the previous chapter. When moving at constant velocity in a circle of radius r, the period t is the time needed to travel through one complete revolution. The frequency f is the number of revolutions per second. Frequency and period are inverses of each other. t equals 1 over f. Angular frequency omega equals 2 pi f. We also have tangential velocity v equals distance over time. When the distance is once around the circle, then the time is one period, equals 2 pi r divided by t. Or this could be written as 2 pi r times f, or r times omega. Omega must be in radians per second. Centripetal acceleration points inward toward the center of the circular motion. We obtained AC equals V squared over R equals R omega squared equals 4 pi squared R over the period squared equals 4 pi squared R times the frequency squared. This equation was obtained from geometry and does not depend on the physical situation. Several forces might act on an object that is moving in a circle. Here, the green force F1 points inward but the red force, F2, points outward. In solving problems, point the positive x-axis inward toward the center of the circular motion so that the net force vector has only an x component. We will arbitrarily choose inward forces to be positive and outward forces to be negative. When mass m is moving in a circular arc, then the sum of the inward positive forces minus the outward negative forces Supply the centripetal force that makes the mass move in a circle. The outward red force minus the inward green force add up to the yellow force, which is the centripetal force making the mass go in a circle. We have the sum of the inward minus outward forces equals FC equals MAC equals MV squared over R. We keep this string of equal signs here handy because in half of the problems we're given velocity and radius. In the second half of the problems we're given radius and angular frequency omega. Omega must be in radians per second. In the third half of the problems we're given the radius r in the period t. And in the fourth half of problems we're given the radius and the frequency. This equation means that the net inward or centripetal force equals mass times the tangential velocity squared divided by the radius of the motion. We usually state it as Fc equals mv squared over r. Please press pause to make these four calculations. In problem one, a small car is driving around in a circle. In problem two, a person is running around a track. You are running at 4.7 meters per second on flat ground toward this hill. The hill has a circular shape with a radius of 8.0 meters. Here is a sketch of your circular path along the hill. Point the plus x axis inward toward the center of the circular motion. As you begin the circular path, the forces on you are the downward weight which points outward from the center of the circle and gets a minus sign, and the normal force which points inward toward the center of the circle and gets a plus sign. The sum of the inward and outward forces is plus n minus mg, and these add up to provide the centripetal force, mv squared over r, that makes you move in a circular path. Solve for n equal mg plus mv squared over r, and then divide each of the three terms by mg to get 
n over mg equals 1 plus v squared over gr equals 1.28. This means that n equals 1.28 mg and you suddenly feel 28% heavier as you encounter the hill which makes your legs and knees buckle a bit. Does this agree with your past experience? The tension in each person's arms is helping to pull that person into a circular motion. This bowling ball wants to move in a straight line forever. The hammer puts a force straight toward the center of the circle, making the bowling ball move in a circular orbit. When the hammer stops, then the bowling ball moves in a straight line. The mass of the bowling ball is 7.3 kilograms, the radius of the circular orbit is 1.1 meters, and the period of the motion is 6.1 seconds. What is the centripetal force? Please show that you get 8.5 newtons. This person pushes her outer foot outward against the ground, and in reaction, the ground pushes her inward with a kinetic frictional force. It is surprising that nature has a static frictional force on her inner foot. This is not kinetic but a static frictional force because there is no inward or radial movement of her inner foot. These two frictional forces supply the centripetal force needed to make her travel in a circle. The tension in the rope and an inward static frictional force at the skates are providing the centripetal force to make this person move in a circle. This mass wants to move in a straight line forever. When it encounters the circular wall, it pushes against the wall, and the wall pushes back with an equal but opposite normal force. The normal force is perpendicular to the wall, points inward, and provides the centripetal force needed to make the mass move in a circle. We have the sum of the inward and outward forces equals plus n equals mv squared over r. When the wall is removed, the mass continues to move in a straight line rather than the wall providing the normal force to make a mass move around in a circle. Let's replace the wall with a bunch of your friends. The green dot here is you. One friend moves out of the way so that you can run straight into the circle. As you get in front of your first friend, this person pushes you a little straight toward the center of the circle. This shifts your direction of motion a little bit. You travel on to your second friend, who pushes you a little bit straight toward the center of the circle. This changes your direction of motion a little. You travel on to your third friend, who pushes you a little straight toward the center of the circle. The series of friends push you all the way around the circle until you get back to the opening in the wall. When no one pushes you there, you continue moving in a straight line forever. You feel the force of the wall people on you. The wall people are providing the centripetal force just as did the solid wall's normal force or the bat in this video.